wanted to be a little business cat like my background, but I couldn't find a bow tie that fit my mascot, so we've got like business casual honey. Hey guys, it's LBS Honey. If you saw one of my most recent videos, you'll know that I bought a ton of the new G7 LPS. I've almost completed like series one of G7 pets. I'm so excited. And in that video, I mentioned how I was going to do like unboxings and reviews of all the different sets. And today's video marks the first one because we are going to be taking a look at the new Pets Got Talent play set. This set comes with two LPS a little baby bird but the most exciting pet for me and I think a lot of people in the community is the new French Bulldog mold. I originally speculated that this mold was a Great Dane just based on the whole height and body shape but it turns out it's actually a French Bulldog. I find it very interesting that Basic Fun decided to remake the French Bulldog mold when we already had an existing mold for that dog breed but Regardless, I'm going to unbox it and we're going to see what this mold is actually like. Some people have reported that the body isn't held together the best and personally, I think this set is quite expensive in general. So let's see if it's worth it or not. So here's the set. I love the box. I've already said this before. The whole packaging department for Basic Fun and the LPS relaunch is amazing. I think it looks great. Panda on the side, the super pretty logo, and just the eye-catching colors overall. Here's the back of the box. We can see the play set and all the little like moving parts and features of it. The set comes with four medium slash small accessories along with the two pets and of course the main playset. One thing I wanted to mention is I find it really interesting that the artwork on the back depicts G2 LPS and this kangaroo in the corner is a mystery pet that was never officially released. Everything's been unboxed, let's talk about what's included. So of course you get your standard checklist, collectible card, and your Roblox coin. This one has a pink coin. And here's the code if anyone wants to redeem it in game. Then we have the set and pets themselves. So let me take you through a quick tour of the set and accessories and then we'll get on to these LPS. So here's everything you're going to be working with and I do like it. It is a cute set but it is a remake of an old G2 set and there's a few differences on this one compared to the original mainly because this one is lacking the magnetic parts because obviously LPS don't have magnets anymore. The original Tricks and Talents playset came with little pieces on the side to click into other playsets. This one doesn't as it's its own standalone set. So I had little platforms to climb up on the left side where this one does not. And probably the main difference is in the middle of the playset there used to be a magnetic disc shooter that the collie that came with this set could catch in its mouth. This set has that whole piece removed and it's just a open floor area. This set is lighter than the original set. Set. It doesn't mean it's worse. Like I said, I really like the colors and the backdrop for this set. I grew up with the original Tricks and Talents set and it's very 90s looking, like it has very bright red, blue kind of colors, where this one is more kind of like, I don't know, colors that are more easy on the eyes, I guess. Like I mentioned, I'm a big fan of the artwork on the back. It's G2 LPS. A few of these I actually own myself. A few more things to mention is this little moving platform to the right, this green swing on the left, and this skateboard at the top that you can move. The accessories you get are a hoop, a seat or stand, a trophy, and a lunch bag. But now, let's get onto the pets themselves, starting with our new French Bulldog mold. I'm going to be completely honest, I have mixed feelings about this pet. If somebody gave me this LPS with no context and asked me to guess what breed it was, I wouldn't say French Bulldog would be my first guess. For two reasons. Number one, I don't really think it looks that much like a French Bulldog. There are aspects to it that are French Bulldog-esque, but in general, I don't think it's the best description for it. And two, we already have a French Bulldog mold, and here it is. As you can see, they are very different. I think we can all see the differences here. 
Even taking the G2 French Bulldog mold out of consideration, I think this pet would be better described as a French Bulldog puppy rather than just a straight up French Bulldog. It has more of a youthful look to it and it kind of makes more sense then. There are some things I like about this mold. I like the big ears, I think they're very goofy and cute and I actually do really like the body mold. I think it's a pretty solid looking body, like it doesn't look weird or disproportionate to the head. But speaking of head, he has a very odd shaped head, it's very egg. This is just my personal opinion, so you definitely don't have to agree, but if it was up to me, I'd just, you know, squish that forehead down a little. Quality wise, he feels like a G2 pet though, he has a very sturdy head, it's not squishy at all. The body feels like a classic G2 pet plastic and I really love his teeny tiny little tail. You can see a join line on this side of him and a lot of LPS have this, especially if they have a larger body, they need to glue two halves of their body together to make it fit. This is common and I've seen a lot of people complain that their join has been coming apart and just like not looking that great. My one at the front seems to be completely fine. At the back though, I literally gave my boy a butt crack and I can't complain because it's kind of perfect. Like I know it's unintentional, Basic Fun did not purposefully give him a butt, but it's perfect. All those high school LPS series where there's at least one pet throwing it back finally have a, a suitable pet to match the scene. Look, overall, is he the most perfect French Bulldog representation? No, I don't think so, but it's a cute pet. I'm not angry about it. I do like him. I'm excited to see them use this mold with other patterns. I would love to see this pet turned into like a Doberman kind of mold or like color palette. I think that would look so cool. Um, overall, I think it's a great new addition to pets. Like I said, I find it a bit odd that they chose an LPS that already exists, but I'm going to say that this is a French Bulldog puppy in my mind rather than an adult French Bulldog. The quality on my one seems fine. Like I said, I don't really see any major splitting in the body. You can definitely see it more on the back, but that doesn't really concern me because I actually like how it looks. Also, he's got the LPS logo on the back of the head. For any of you interested, the licensing on his legs says 2023 because he's a brand new mold. But let's uh, let's give our little bird some time to shine here. So this is a G2 Pet Triplets mold. It actually looks pretty similar to the original pet it was like designed from. I like it though. I like the heart on the chest that it matches the French Bulldog that comes with this set. And I don't really have any complaints about it, to be honest. It's a cute pet. I definitely think this one fits right in with G2 pets, and I think it looks a lot better than our little uh, blind bag pet triplet third that we got. I feel like, in general, <laughs> um, Basic Fun has been doing a lot of pet triplet molds, which I kind of like. I really hope they bring back the kittens and puppies. So far we've seen the birds and monkeys make a return, so it would be really cool if they just keep going with them. Yeah, they are together. The two of them look really cute. Uh, like I said, I love that they have little hearts on their chests, so they're matching. And overall, I think it's a cute set. But do I think it's worth the price? Because girly, in this economy, huh? In Australia, we have to pay a bit more for LPS because of import taxes and currency conversion and all of that. But I think this set is a bit overpriced, no matter where you get it from. I'm gonna add some prices on screen to let you guys know how much they cost in like America, UK, and Australia. And these are the prices that like they are currently worth, the retail price, I guess you could say. Um, and I think it should be more around this price. Now maybe this is unrealistic of me, you know, I'm an LPS collector, of course I don't want to be like forking out tons of money for new LPS. I want them to remain cheaper, 
like they were advertised to be. I mean, the French Bulldog Puppy Mold is cute, and I'm sure that there's a lot of collectors who want it, but have been put off getting it because of the price, and it comes with a whole playset. This is why I'm really hoping that in the future, they use this mold again with a different design and release it maybe as a two-pack or a single pet. A lot of people, I'm sure, would love to get another new mold, and releasing it that way would be more accessible to everyone to collect. Now again, this is just my opinion, my freaking hopeful, whimsical little daydream, but I just wanted to share it with you guys, because, I don't know, let me know if you agree in the comments. I, I don't know if I'm making any sense. Overall, if you really, really want to experience the new French Bulldog Puppy Mold, I recommend the set. It's cute, it's got a cute little like area for you to display your pets everywhere. The pets that come with it are great, I really like the molds. But if you're somebody who's on the fence and would like it but not sure if you want to pay that price or not, maybe wait till it goes on sale. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing it and if you did, please tell me down below what you think of this set. Have you been able to get the new French Bulldog Puppy or has the price put you off getting it? I'd be very interested to know. If you enjoyed, like always, please don't forget to like, comment and of course subscribe. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye, guys.